everybody, it's me, Captain Thing here, and welcome back to another video. And today, we are learning how to make explosions. Yes, you heard me, explosions. Okay, so, first of all, you'll need a file called Windows Live Movie Maker. I have the trial version, so there's no reason why you shouldn't have it, too. So, getting down to business, because that's all we care about, right? Business. Let's import the file that you need the big explosion in. Right? Because we need the explosion, right? So here's the video right here. <laughs> this is a spoiler, so yeah, if you really need it. Now I'm going to add a visual overlay. And this visual overlay is going to be an explosion! But not the full sound. See it? About the timing. Now I'm going to add a big one. You know, it's going to cover most of it. But I have an issue! You know, this doesn't work for me, right? Right, so... I'm gonna use a transparent background. And we have our explosion. And we have our visual sound effects. And we have something that looks pretty sturdy. Now, if you don't like the weird look of it, you know, you can pull it down a little, just shorten it, just adding it, you know, tweak it a little, but in the gist of it, that's how you do it. Now, I will have a couple links in the description. Link to my first tutorial. Isn't this epic? Just epic. I mean, just a big boom boom. So I just like to um, watch that, just a couple times. Yeah, I know, the timing is a little bit off. So let's fix this. Fix this again. Okay, so... Now, if you want, you can, of course, add another visual overlay. Desktop, dark films, Lego Avengers. Stick the file. Oh, that's an audio overlay. Ah, oh, dang it. So, you know, you can always do this. You know, play around with it. Add another visual overlay. Add another explosion. Wait a second. No, is this not working? Did I break the software? I'm pretty sure I broke the software. Right. Right. Don't break the software. Just, you know, a little hint. Yeah, so pretty much that's the tutorial. If you want to add an audio overlay, that's the button right there. But if you don't know, well, that's spoilers. Keep a lookout for my next tutorial, which is going to be how to um, do Cap. not Captain America. How to do Iron Man's repulsors. The repulsors can be worked for anything, but while well, I get this fixed, that's basically how you add overlays in Windows Live Expression Encoder. No, okay, Microsoft Expression Encoder. I'll leave the link to the download in the description below. Also, the link to GIMP, my handy dandy video editing software, and also the link to the previous tutorial, so go check that out right now. That's all, guys. Hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope this was helpful. Bye!